This is a video about the auto material reload function of the material station for your Ultimaker S5 Pro bundle. Um, if you already have an S5, you'll notice the S5 right here in the middle. And then on the top, you're going to notice the S5 Pro bundle air manager. And what that does is really creates, you know, kind of a stream of air that goes up out through a HEPA filter and a uh, pushes the air out into your workspace. The HEPA filter catches, you know, any particles in the air that is created by the uh, laying down of the filament. And then you're going to notice on the bottom a material station. And the material station will hold six different types of material. So across the material station here, you know, I have various parts of PLA. I have a tough PLA over here in black, and then I have a PVA over here on the right side. One thing you'll notice down here on the bottom is that there are two different inserts for the material, a one and a two. And a one goes, in this case, to my double A nozzle, and the two goes to my double B nozzle. So if I'm printing with two different types of material, I can basically say what material goes to what nozzle based upon how I insert this into the material station. Now, if you already have an S five and you get an air manager and a material station you're going to need to read update your firmware and once you re-update your firmware, you'll notice that as you load in materials to your S5, that, or excuse me, into your material station, that it automatically reads and knows what material is placed. You'll notice here in the middle, it only recognized the blue PLA that I placed as a generic material in this case. I did notice that when I... Um, unloaded the material and load it back in another time in a print that it did recognize that. So you can obviously go in here and see how much material you have left. I mean, you can tell that I have a full tough PLA roll over here. And then over here on the left hand side, you can see that I'm pretty much almost empty of my black PLA. My blue PLA here in the middle is, you know, almost out. And you can kind of read that here, although it didn't recognize that from the question marks that you see in this case. Now, when you're almost out of material, your Ultimaker is going to automatically sense that you're out and it's going to start a changing material function. So I created a short video here and I'll kind of scrub through, you know, this video is about 10 minutes long. I'm not just going to play it, but you're going to notice that on the LED screen, it's noticing that it needs to change material and the Ultimaker will automatically, you know, kind of go to a home position and it's going to heat up that nozzle until it's ready to eject material. And as I drag through here, you know, as I kind of waited and waited a little bit, this will take about, I don't know, roughly, you know, a minute or two. But you're going to have to wait. You're not, you're not like there's nothing that went wrong. It's not like frozen, but you're going to have to wait for it to heat up the nozzle to the point where it can eject the material and it's going to automatically start ejecting material for you. So you can see it going down the nozzle and the tube. And as we come down to our material station, you can see it's going to wind itself around one of the clear plastic rolls. And automatically, it's going to sense what material to load next based upon what print you put into Cura for it to print. So if I would have asked for silver PLA and I had two rolls, it would automatically detect that silver PLA to be loaded. So you can see it's slowly coming off and back onto the roll. Um, if you have a large print like I've had before, you know, before I had this material station, when I had large prints, you know, in the middle of the night, it would just stop and I would have to come back in in the morning and reload material. And you would notice kind of that like thin line on a large print when you would come back in and see the material, kind of that restart point. You don't really have to worry about that as much with your uh, material station with your S5. You're going to see it slowly start to load up the back of the nozzle. I can kind of fast forward just a little bit here. I kind of think you can kind of get the point as it's loading. It's going to come in. It's slowly going to find its way down to the heated nozzle for ejection. Now, once it actually gets to that nozzle, what the Ultimaker will do is it's trying to make sure that any material left over from the previous roll is extruded out of the nozzle. So this is going to take, you know, see where I'm about five minutes and 43 seconds into this video over here on the side. It's going to go back and forth and create these extrusions slowly but surely. So it's going to start at one position up here at the front. It's going to extrude out a decent amount of material and it's going to go backwards to another position. It's going to continue extruding here at the beginning and you're going to see it slowly go back and forth and extrude out material and it'll stop just to give an idea of the flow rate being correct and also that it's extruded all other material. I have switched different colors of materials and you can really see like I had silver before and you can see all the silver going out of it slowly over time. Now it's going to go to three separate positions 
and keep extruding out material until it's ready to come back out and print. It will go through this for about four to five minutes. So again, it's not frozen in some weird state where you need to turn on and off the printer. You're going to think it's going to go on and on forever, but eventually it's going to come back to a point where it's going to say, you know, we're ready to print and it's going to come back out. It's going to meet your large print. Once it has all the material out and the flow rate is correct, you will see it slowly find its way back out to your print and start printing again. And you will see on your LED screen once it starts to print that it's back to printing. So again, this takes all in all roughly about 10 minutes of time. And this is one of the neatest features of the materials station of the S5. The fact that it will automatically switch for you and you don't have to switch rolls on the back. This is the exhaust fan on the back of the air manager that, again, is creating that flow. Um, there's a filter that you'll have to change, you know, how based on how many prints you do. Um, PLA is a, you know, a, you know, pretty, I don't want to say like anything is like a unsafe, but you definitely want to make sure that you're providing some form of a clean air manager around your station. I also have an air manager and, uh, you know, an air cleaning station in my classroom as well for the other 3D printers that we have. So if you use Ultimaker's, the material station and the air manager are an excellent addition to um, your workstation and where you work for a variety of reasons. But one of them is you no longer really have to take in and out materials one at a time. You can have every different type of material loaded in here. You can even set up a queue in Cura to where your different prints will auto load and it'll change material for you. So there's way less labor on the side of the user as far as materials go. So this has been a video on the material station of the S5 Pro bundle and how efficient it can make your prints in regards to changing of materials.